Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at the while loop. I'm going to show you how to make the expressions, how to exit a while loop, and how to continue inside of a while loop. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's perform our first example. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a small table. So create a table HR employee. And this table, we're going to set it up with two columns and then a generated column. So EMP ID, and that is an integer. And we're going to say not null. So that means it's required. Now our second field is annual salary. And this data type is going to be numeric. And that is also not null. And our last field is actually our generated column. So we'll say hourly rate and that's numeric. And then we're going to say generated always as then we're going to have some function and then we're going to say stored. Now, what kind of function can we write for hourly rate? Well, what we can do is we can say annual salary divided by 2080. Now, if you don't know, that's the number of hours we work in the United States. You could have came over here and said, let me see, I've got a 52 weeks a year times 40 hours and that's 2080. So there we have our table HR employee. Now what I like to do is use the while loop and insert some data into this table. So we start off with do dollar dollar and then we come down and we end with dollar dollar. Now the first thing we have to do is declare some local variables. So we say declare and our first one's going to be called start pay. And that is going to be numeric. And we are going to say your initial value is 36,000. And then uh, we're going to have the max num employees. And that is going to be an int. And we're going to put 10 rows inside of this table. And our current e employee ID is an int. And we're going to set that to equal one right now. Now we are ready to begin the while loop. So we say begin. And for every begin, we have to say end. So while loop and notice that I always do open and close just like I did up here on the generated columns because this right here can be a function or an expression but either way it has to evaluate to true or false and for every while loop there is a end loop now this expression you can kind of see where I'm going with our variables here I'm gonna say while the employee ID is less than the max num employee so you can see here I'm gonna go from 1 to 10 now that expression will evaluate to true or false if it's true I'm gonna execute whatever I put inside of this while loop now the first thing I like to do is like raise a notice so we can see like some output from this so I'm gonna say raise notice and then we'll say a single quote and then we'll say num employee uh, then a placeholder and then comma and then the name of that variable be called um, employee ID I guess we should better call this one employee ID too then after we do that right there we're going to then insert into this table we just created up here so what we'll say is insert into HR employee and notice that we have three columns but remember whenever you have a generated column we don't ever use this on the insert statement It's generated so our first column is called EMP ID and annual salary now where do I get my values well values come from EMP ID so my first one is EMP ID and then where does salary come from well it comes from this variable called start pay and notice I insert those into HR employee well notice here I come into my while loop and I say employee ID is one and then I say is one less than 10 and then I insert one notice it's going to come back up here notice employee is ID is still one so what we have to do is we have to increment that uh, variable. So EMP ID, EMP ID plus one. Now notice start pay. Start pay, notice I started off at 36,000. Now when I get in here, 36,000. And when I come through again, notice it'll be 36,000 again. So I have to increment that as well. So start pay equals start pay uh, plus, we'll do 5,000. That'd be a nice little pay raise. On line 23, we increment employee ID. On 24, we increment start pay. When we return to line 16, the while loop expression is evaluated. Is emp ID less than max num emp? Well, let's continue this while loop until this expression is false. Continue testing the while expression. Is it time to get out of this while loop? When the expression is false, we will have inserted nine rows into HR employee. Let's first begin by creating this table and then we will do this routine that we just wrote and notice that my 
raise notice messages came to the screen and I have our data. Now let's do some select statements. Select star from HR employee. As you can see here, hourly rate is a generated column. So its value is computed based on the annual salary. And notice that we have one through nine. Notice I said employee ID is less than the max. So notice nine, as soon as this came down and incremented to 10, is 10 less than 10? No, if we wanted 10, we'd have to come up here and say less than equal to max. And that's our first example. In our second example, we're just gonna modify this while loop. But first, I need to remove all that data from our table, so I'm gonna truncate that. Notice that I've commented that out just in case I accidentally hit the go button after I've done my work. And notice here I have start pay and I'm at 36,000. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use that as my counter. And I'm gonna say while start pay is less than $120,000. And notice here, I'm going to keep getting my employee ID. And notice I never use max. In fact, we can kind of take this out now because we just don't need it in this example. So notice here, I'll be looping over this. Employee ID starts with one, I increment it, I just stay in here. Is start pay less than 120? Well, notice that we're incrementing at 5,000 a time. So remember, this evaluates to true or false. And if it's true, I do these lines of code. If it's false, I get out of this loop. Well, let's execute this now. And we've got some data. Notice that we ended up getting uh, all the way up to employee 17. And now let's do a select statement and see what kind of data we have. So as you can see here, we started with 36,000. I came all the way down and our last value was uh, $116,000. They make 55, 76, someone that makes 36 makes $17. And that's our second example. In this example, notice my condition on line 17, start pay less than 120. But what if I wanna get out of this while loop early? So let's begin with truncating that data, starting over, and then I'm gonna come down and use an if statement. And I can say, if the employee ID is 10, then for every if, we have to say end if with a semicolon. Now, if it does equal 10, what do you wanna do? Well, I'm gonna say exit, and then we're out of there. So notice here, we're working on employee ID. Employee ID is first set to one. Then I come down, I set it to two, three, nine, and then when I set it to 10, it comes down there, it inserts 10, and then it says, if employee ID is 10, I want you to exit. Let's run this and see this work. So I'm gonna execute 11 to 34. Let's see if we got any output, sure did. And now let's do our select statement and we should only have one through 10. So there you saw the example where we're using exit. In our final example, we're gonna look at the continue keyword and how it's used inside of a while loop. Notice I set employee ID initial value to zero. And then on line 19, if start pay is less than 120, so is 36,000 less than 120, yep. So zero plus one is one. And then I'm gonna test to see if the remainder is zero. And so one divided by two is not zero. So it flows through. So every time the employee ID is an even number, it will come into this continue keyword. And continue actually just repositions the execution to line 17 and it will re-execute this test. And then I come in there and I, I increment my employee ID. I test to see if it's even. Now it's odd. I do these lines. Then I come back up to the top and I do the test again. So every time the value of EMP ID is even, I just hit this continue statement and then I come back up to line 17 and I re-execute the test. Let's actually see how this works. I'm gonna truncate that table to start over and then we'll do lines 34 to 11 to 34. Let's do it. Let's see what our output said. Notice the statement raise notice employee ID. I only have odd values. So every time EMP ID is even and I mod EMP ID by two, if the remainder is zero, the if statement will execute, the continue will reposition the program pointer to line 17. When it's odd, I flow through and notice 
I get 1357. Now let's see what happened in our database. Now notice that my value started at 41,000. Well, I said I wanted my start pay to be 36,000. So what happened here? So the first thing I did was a test. I did a test on 36. I mean, uh, is 36,000 less than this? Yes. And then I stay inside this loop, but notice before I do the insert statement, I raise start pay by 5,000. That's why this is at 41,000. And I just only ever do the increment on start pay when employee ID is odd. And there you have our last example the continue keyword. And there you have it team, the while loop. I hope this video was able to teach you about the expression and the keywords exit and continue. For sure, this is a building block feature to all programming language. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them below. I hope to see you back in my next video. Take care.